Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Rusty's Dynaco Cruise Amiras, alias Racing Center Cruise Amiras, or in my case, Cars on the Road Cruise Amiras. Now before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing. So, here we've got her artwork for Cars on the Road, the Carburetor County Desert background in new 2022, the Cars on the Road logo, her die cast sealed in, the Salt Flats map background, and, and the title, Rusty's Dynaco Cruiser Mirrors. We have the Metal logo and the Mattel logo. And on the back, we have the the map background, and as seen in the Cars on the Road logo, Rusty Sanico Cruiser Mirrors, alias Cars on the Road Cruiser Mirrors herself, Road Cars on the Road Lightning Road Trip Lightning McQueen, or should I say Cars on the Road Lightning McQueen, K Pillar Derev, Royce Revsley. Griswold, who I unfortunately don't have, and Speed Demon. 2021 Mattel, made in Thailand, the Mattel logo, empowering the next generation through play, Disney slash Pixar, www.disney.com slash cars, and the metal logo at the top right. And that is it. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the unboxing. So I'll be right back after this had been unboxed. So here we have Cars on the road, crews and mirrors, all opened up and out of the package. So, during her return in the Cars on the Road episode, getting hitched with her voice actress, Cristela Alonso, reprising... Cruz is revealed to be a wedding attendant happily reuniting with Lightning McQueen and Mater after a long journey. The groom is revealed to be Matteo, one of her cousins who I unfortunately don't have. When Mater says that the bride is his sister, Mato, who I unfortunately don't have, she's ec ecstatic at the prospect of having a family connection to Mater due to the marriage. Throughout the course of the episode, Cruz reveals that during her off season, she had done a lot of things like opening a racing school, formed a nonprofit organization that provides snow tires to the lightly treaded and is learning French. And she is and she was also the judge of a competition between Mater and Mato. She also confirms that she is a licensed wedding efficient after Justice Stern, a pity who I unfortunately don't have, left and pronounces Mato and Matteo married. And at the end of the episode, 
she wishes Lightning McQueen and Mater best luck on their way home back to Radiator Springs and wishes them to drive safely. And during her diecast releases, she was released as a single and in a two pack with Cars on the Road, Lightning McQueen. And I even got her via eBay. I mean, I even got her in a package via eBay along with Flip Dover, who I recorded yesterday. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got her happy facial expression, his goldish yellow exterior paintwork, her working headlights and no grill, meaning, meaning that she's a girl, no Danico, no tampos on the logo, on the hood, no tampos on the hood, I meant to say, her eyelashes, and on both sides, we've got the silver gray rims on the black wall next gen light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the gas cap and the dark gold long neck dinosaur and the a Dynaco logo, a blue metallic blue Dynaco logo and a metallic blue number 51 on her door. And on the top we've got the metallic blue number 51. And we've got the spoiler. And on the back we've got the CRS logo which she regained. And the working red taillights and a metallic blue number 51. And on the undercarriage it says Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand. And that is it. Now let's compare her to the other cruises. First we're going to start off with the normal Cruiser Mares. And here are some similarities and differences. Both are Cruiser Mares. But here are some similarities and differences. Both have the working taillights, bright yellow paintwork, goldish yellow paintwork, side view mirrors, no side view mirrors. Stock rims, stock top, stock wheat, stock rims, racing rims. 51 in Dynaco logo, and exhaust pipes on both sides. No num, no racing number, no sponsor logo, no exhaust pipes, and the Rusty's Racing Center 95 emblem. Dinosaur. No dinosaur, just the gas caps. Spoiler, no spoiler. Both have the CRS logo. License plate, no license plate. Both have the red working taillights. Racing number on the back, no racing number at the back. And for Cruz Ramirez is Francis Beltline. Again, both are Cruz Ramirez. Both bear the working taillights. Both have no tampos on the hood. Same way with regular Cruz Ramirez. Side view mirrors, no side view mirrors, bright yellow paintwork, goldish yellow paintwork, 
number, racing number on the top, no racing number on the top. Both have a racing number, 20, 51, sponsor logo, no sponsor logo, dirt and mud on the enamel, no dirt and mud on the enamel, both have the gas caps, and Rusty's Racing Center 95 emblem, no Rusty's Racing Center 95 on emblem, dinosaur on enamel, no dinosaur on enamel, spoiler, no spoiler, Both have the working red tail lights. Racing number on the back. No racing number on the back. License plate. No license plate. And now for Rusty's Cruiser Mirrors. I get a third time, both are cruiser mirrors. Both have the working taillights. And both have no wind side view mirrors. Bright yellow paintwork. Goldish yellow paintwork. No sponsor logo on the hood. Race, racing number on the top. No racing number on the top. Both have a spoiler. Ninety five, fifty one, Rusty's, Dynaco, both have the exhaust pipes on the sides, and the gas cap, Dinosaur on enamel, Name Cruise on the enamel, Red rims, Silver gray rims, Classic light black wall light your racing tires. Next gen black wall light your racing tires. Fifty one, ninety five. Both have the CRS logo and the working red tail lights. And lastly, Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. Again, both are Cruiser Mirrors. Both race for the Dynaco team and bear the number 51 in the Piston Cup. Bright, both have the working headlights. Dynaco logo on hood. No Dynaco logo on the hood. Number 51 on the top. Both have the spoiler. Dynaco logo on spoiler. No Dynaco logo on the spoiler. Both have the Dynaco logo on the enamel, the 51, and a dinosaur, blue dinosaur, gold dinosaur. Both have the gas cap and the exhaust pipes. Blue rims on the black wall light, next gen light your racing tires. Silver gray rims on the Black wall next gen light your racing tires. A few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup Combustor Synergy and Carbon Cyber. No contingency logos. And on the back we have both have the working red tail lights and a number 51 CRS logo, no CRS logo, Dynaco logo, no Dynaco logo, yellow rookie stripes, 
No rookie stripes, implying that Cruz here is no longer a rookie. And that is it. And now to pull up some of the other Dynaco racers, we have Lee Weathers, Strip the King Weathers, Dynaco Lightning McQueen, even though it was just a dream. Dynaco Chick Hicks, even though it was just a nightmare. And Cal Weathers. And some of the other ra fit number 51 racers, we have the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet and Ruby Easy Oaks. And, and her, and Cruz's cousin-in-law, Mater. And that is it. So, the two cars in Mater and Cruz's family that I don't have are Matteo and Mato. Even though Matteo already got a release as a diecast, we hope for Mato to get a release as well. And, and I imagine it's going to be her release. Mato is going to Mato's release is going to be in this year in 2023. But what do you guys think? Which Mater Ramirez family member is your favorite? Is it Cruz Ramirez or is it or Mater? Or which version of Cruz Ramirez is your favorite? Is it normal Cruz Ramirez? Cruz is friends' is belt line? Rusty's Cruz Ramirez? Dynaco Cruz Ramirez? Or Cars on the Road Cruz Ramirez? Although years ago, Mattel was gonna release the dirt track version of Cruiser Ramirez with a number 20 and the spoiler and racing tires and with the word storm, but unfortunately it was cancelled. Which, anyhow, <clears throat> which racer number 51 is your favorite? Is it Cruz, the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet, or Ruby Easy Oaks? And which Team Dynaco racer is your favorite? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now!